Just wanted to share a few personal thoughts as to what's happening uh, in our state at this point of time. As you all know, uh, there was a recent uh, delegation also by the uh, opposition-led alliance. For that, there were a few other MPs also who came over here uh, hoping uh, to bring peace. Uh, my only sincere request to all the parliamentarians across all political lines, let parliament function. We need to hear and discuss uh, about all the issues which is prevailing in the state. Uh, thus, it becomes very uh, important and pertinent to mention here that uh, parliament is allowed to function. And I'm not uh, saying because I belong to a particular political party, but because I happen to be a Manipuri and we deserve to know what is happening, what is going to be discussed and what are the programs, what are the things which are going to be taken forward uh, to ensure that there is peace over here in our state. Coming over here for photo ops uh, doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, uh, we need peace. Uh, does uh, in whatever rule or whatever manner you are going to discuss, we already know that there is a no confidence motion. I'm sure the prime minister will be speaking during the no confidence motion. Let it function. Let it be discussed. Let the home minister come forward. Uh, we want central government to take a lot more proactive measures for the state of Manipur. The home minister coming to the parliament and stating the views of the central government becomes important. So let parliament function. Let the union. Uh, Home Minister speak. Let the Prime Minister speak on the day which he has to. If Parliament is allowed to function, I'm sure he will speak and uh, it's his responsibility also to speak. Uh, lots of main issues needs to be discussed. Does uh, uh, you know, uh, not uh, getting away from the main uh, uh, issues which is prevailing in the state. Uh, why uh, a so-called ethnic conflict, which everybody is mentioning over here, has been going on for three months. It is not just a mere ethnic conflict now, but it has gone beyond that. There is a lot more uh, issues underneath which we need to know. Illegal migrants, one of the core issues which the state government is facing. Already government of India has initiated measures to, you know, identify them. So uh, this is a very important issue. I'm sure thousands and lakhs of people are here and we need to identify those, get into the core issue. How a three month old conflict is still allowed to go on is a big question. Where the arms and ammunition coming from? Who is supplying to them? Uh, Everybody is saying uh, various different forces fighting, uh, you know, state security force and central security force. I don't think so. Yes, there may be village defense force uh, fighting along, but uh, people uh, with a huge amount of backings with uh, lots of money ensuring that uh, there's trans-border, cross-border infiltration and uh, infiltration not just uh, uh, with human but uh, with uh, arms and ammunition also. The, you know, otherwise, how can state and central security force go on fight for three odd months? So it is not easy. We know it has happened in the past in Kashmir, in Assam, in the part of Northeast with insurgency and terrorist related activities. So we think that a lot more needs to be discussed. Central agency has to look into it. The Ministry of Home Affairs has to look into it, where it's coming from. For me personally, if you ask right now, this armament is very important whether it's from the incident groups who have violated ground rules, whether it's the foreign militia, which we believe there are, or all those weapons which were looted from the state machinery. All these has to go. Once uh, this armament happens, I believe there'll be non-violence, the violence will be lessened, peace will be there, and then you can start the political dialogue and talk to all these uh, stakeholders and discuss how to move forward. Uh, my only appeal to all parliamentarians is Manipur deserves to be heard. Manipur deserves to be talked about, to be discussed about. Don't let political issues damage that. Otherwise, um, in, in the course of history, those parliamentarians who are there right now, they will be remembered for not even thinking about the state of Manipur and more about the political issues which are prevailing uh, you know, across the country. So my earnest request to all of you, let us uh, allow a parliament to function, let Manipur be discussed, let the real issues be discussed uh, and I'm sure peace uh, will be there in due course of time. नमस्कार मैं हूं मानक गुप्ता अगर आपको हमारा ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो इसे लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें और हां हमें सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो करना ना भूलें ताकि आप देश और दुनिया की कोई खबर मिस ना करें तो जुड़े रहिए हमारे साथ और देखते रहिए न्यूज़ 24